Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to first look at Arsenal told new Edmund Tapsoba Price as Edu plots to sign David Luiz transfer replacement and then we're going to look at Raheem Sterling tips to quit Manchester City for fresh challenge amid Arsenal transfer links. So the first transfer headline states that Arsenal told new Edmund Tapsoba Price as Edu plots to sign David Luiz transfer replacement. So the reports are stating that Arsenal technical director Edu is tasked with signing a new defender this summer. Arsenal would have to offer at least £60 million to sign Edmund Tapsoba this summer according to reports. Tapsoba has been linked with a move to Arsenal from Bundesliga side by Leverkusen. However, Leverkusen are very reluctant to let the centre-back leave the club. Arsenal are in the market for a defender following the departure of David Luiz. David Luiz has left the Gunners for free after spending two years at the Emirates. Rob Holding is the only right-footed centre-back in the current first-team squad, hence the interest in Tapsoba. William Saliba will return from his loan spell at Nice this summer, but it remains to be seen how much Mikel Sessa will be prepared to use the 20-year-old. Earlier this month, Italian football journalist Gianluigi Longari claimed Arsenal had held talks with Leverkusen after making Tapsuba their top transfer targets. However, Leverkusen are not keen on selling the 22-year-old. German outlet Bild says the departures of Sven Bender, who has retired, and Alexandra Dragovic, who has moved to Red Star Belgrade, make Leverkusen even more determined to keep Tapsoba. Bild reports that also still interested in signing the Burkina Faso International. However, Leverkusen would not listen to any offers below £60 million, which is €70 million. Euros. Tapsoba signed a new contract in late 2020 which commits him to Leverkusen until the summer of 2026. The club's sporting director Simon Rolfers is planning to have Tapsoba at the club next season. Edmund should also play a very important role for us next season, Rolfers told Build. Arsenal will meanwhile not be playing in European football next season after finishing 8th in the Premier League under Mikel Arteta. It is the first time in 26 years that the Gunners have not qualified for any European competition. Mikel Arteta is hopeful for a full pre-season which will help make the difference as he attempts to right the wrongs of the campaign. He said, I'm sad because this club deserves to be delivered trophies and the Champions League. We haven't managed that. It's very challenging circumstances but we've tried to stick together and do our best. It's not been enough. We have to be very critical of ourselves, of myself and then prepare the best possible way for next season to take advantage of that. Hopefully, we can have the pre-season that I haven't had and have time to work with those players and try to be better as a team. So the first transfer line pretty much states that Arsenal told new Edmund Tapsoba Price as Edu plots to sign David Luiz transfer replacement and with Edmund Tapsoba a very top prospect at Bayer Leverkusen and someone that could be the long-term replacement to David Luiz. We have to wait and see how this transfer pans out. So this nicely takes us on to the second piece of transfer news which states that Raheem Sterling tipped to quit Manchester City for fresh challenge amid Arsenal transfer links. So the reports are stating that Raheem Sterling could be on his way out of Manchester City this summer. Former Manchester City winger Trevor Sinclair has tipped Raheem Sterling to leave the club this summer amid reported interest from Arsenal. Raheem Sterling endured a rough patch of form in the latter stages of the season and could be moved on in the upcoming transfer window. The 26-year-old was a surprise starter in Saturday's Champions League final as Manchester City fell to a toothless 1-0 defeat to Chelsea in Porto. Despite the citizens lifting a fifth Premier League title, Raheem Sterling was widely criticised for his form in front of goal in the final few months of the 2020-2021 campaign. He scored just three goals in his last 20 appearances of the season for Pep Guardiola's side across all competitions. Speaking on Monday's Talk Sport Breakfast, Sinclair believes Manchester City will be open to letting Raheem Sterling leave this summer. He said, I might be wrong, but reading between the lines and the media that's being released, I think they'd be prepared to let him go. I think there's a potential move for Raheem this summer. 
You look at the individual, there are a few little rumours coming out that Manchester City are prepared to listen to offers. You look at the way he's played during his time at Manchester City and he has been superb. Sinclair added that Sterling needs a new challenge and that he won't be short of suitors based on his performances over the last several years. I think there will be a queue of clubs wanting to sign him, Sinclair explained, not on the last three or four months of form, but on his previous nine years of performances. He's not had any real injury problems. I look at him and he doesn't look excited. He looks anxious about being there. He's proved to all the fans he's a top player, so I think he needs a fresh challenge and I think it will coincide with the club's model. Arsenal manager Miklos Sessa is reportedly plotting a raid of his old workplace, with the Gunners eyeing Riyad Mahrez and Raheem Sterling. The Emirates Stadium may be an unrealistic destination for the England international, but Manchester City could be looking to raise funds. Guardiola wants to bolster his squad further this summer with Tottenham Hotspur's Harry Kane and Borussia Dortmund's Erling Haaland targeted as Sergio Aguero's replacement. If not to Arsenal, Sterling could still be on his way out of this summer and at the age of 26, his stock should be higher despite his recent woes. So it looks like Raheem Sterling is tipped to quit Manchester City for fresh challenge amid Arsenal transfer leagues. And it was a surprise transfer link in the first instance when we were linked within two or three days ago to Raheem Sterling as someone that could play on the left winger role where we have struggled a little bit and give the youngsters like Bukayo Saka a little bit of rest instead of playing him every single match to make sure that we achieve a victory. So in terms of Raheem Sterling, the fan base is very divided. Some fans are assuming that Sterling will be a brilliant signing, someone that could play in that left winger role, someone that can score goals for the Gunners and someone that is a big name player. But at the same time, there's other players, other half of the fan base are stating that Raheem Sterling might not be the signing he deserves. He's not interested to play at the best of his level. He's already done everything he needs to in his career. He won't be hungry. So it's a mixed reaction regarding Raheem Sterling. We have to wait and see how this transfer pans out. But other than that, guys, remain blessed. Stay tuned for the next video and peace.